On this video, we're talking about my favorite accessories for the MetaQuest 2 heading into 2022. And that starts right now. Hey guys, Ryan Camp here with Camp Gaming and welcome to another virtual reality video. Today we are talking about my favorite accessories for the MetaQuest 2. These are optional additions that you can add to your Quest 2 to add comfort, quality of life, better audio, and extended playtime. Now keep in mind that these aren't the only good accessories for the Oculus or MetaQuest 2 out there. There are tons of great options, but these are the ones that I've settled on and I use daily when I play virtual reality with my Quest 2 device. First, we'll talk about some accessories that I think are absolute must-haves if you're gonna be playing virtual reality on your Quest 2 for an extended period of time. And at the end of the video, we'll go over some more options that aren't completely necessary, but are cool just the same. And don't forget that links to all of these items can be found in the descriptions below. And if you check them out through those links, you're not costing yourself anything extra, but you are helping support this channel. So thank you in advance. Okay, without wasting any more time, let's check out the accessories. First up on the list are these new controller grip covers from Kiwi Design. I've tried a ton of different grip covers for the Quest 1 and 2, and these are by far the most comfortable and convenient grips I've used to date. If you have big hands like I do, these grips also extend the length of the controller handle, giving you a bit more room. That being said, these might not be the best grips for someone who has smaller hands. Another great feature of these controller covers is the battery door opening. A big hassle for most of these grip covers is that it covers the battery door on the Quest 2 controller, making you have to remove them every time you want to replace the battery. But not with these covers. You remove the original battery cover door provided by Meta, and these grips have their own built-in battery door. Pretty snazzy. Up next are the Bionic Mantis attachable VR headphones. Now these don't provide better audio quality than a set of wireless headphones, but they do improve the Quest 2's built-in audio option and provide you with a little bit more privacy. Plus, they match the Quest 2 so well. The adjustable design allows you to position and maneuver the headphones in tons of different various positions, allowing you to get the perfect fit. These were released to work alongside the PSVR, but they work and look great with the Quest 2 if you have an upgraded head strap like the one we're going to talk about right now. I absolutely hate the packed in head strap that comes standard with the MetaQuest 2. It's itchy, uncomfortable, and it doesn't offer much support for your headset. Now the Quest 2 Elite strap had some issues at launch with it snapping and breaking very easily, and I actually fell victim to that issue myself. But as far as I know, those issues have been ironed out. The Elite strap with battery is in my opinion the most comfortable and compact head strap available and the extended battery time is a must have. The added weight from the battery also helps balance the headset out and the easy turn to adjust tightening dial on the back of the headset makes getting the right fit a cinch. Now this thing is pricey at $99, but it's so worth it in my opinion if you are going to be looking to improve the comfort and playability of your headset. Another must-have accessory for the Quest 2 is a magnetic charging cable. This cable setup allows you to place a magnetic extension that will sit in the charging port on your Quest. And if the cable is tripped over or tugged, it won't rip the cable from the Quest and damage the port, or drag your headset onto the floor by accident. It also makes hooking up your Quest for charging a breeze. A must-have and affordable addition to your Quest setup for sure. I've tried many different facial interfaces for the Quest and currently I am using the Kiwi Design upgraded facial interface. The replacement face cover pad is washable and easy to clean and very soft. The face foam pad has a breathable design to relieve high temperature and there are vents that provide better ventilation without light leakage. The face pad is thicker than the standard face pad which will reduce pressure and provide an all around more comfortable experience. It also comes with a glasses spacer if you wear spectacles. Upgrading the facial interface on the Quest 2 is a must in my opinion, and if you're going to buy a replacement, I'd recommend either the Kiwi Design version like I have, or those from VR Cover. They make some great replacements as well. Now for the bonus round. Let's talk about a few items that are not must-haves, but are pretty cool additions to the Quest 2 just the same. First up is a VR floor mat like those made by Proxymat. 
These will provide you with a safe and comfortable way to stay centered while playing virtual reality. This will reduce accidents and reduce fatigue as well. Up next is the Logitech K830 keyboard. It's currently the only keyboard that can be paired and used in VR with the Quest 2. The functionality is pretty cool if you're looking for productivity in VR, and the keyboard is a great wireless keyboard on its own, and it's pretty affordable. But, buyer beware, the setup and pairing process on the Quest 2 has been pretty spotty for me at best and sometimes doesn't work as intended. And for my final recommendation for Quest 2 accessories, it's the Anchor Charging Dock. This dock is officially licensed by Meta to charge the Quest 2 and it's really nice looking. You can just set your headset and touch controllers down into the dock to keep them secure and charge. And it has super fast charging. The only issue for me is that this dock won't work with the controller grips that I mentioned earlier, so just keep stuff like that in mind. And there you have it guys. Those are all of the accessories for the Oculus or MetaQuest 2 that I think you should check out in 2022. They're gonna help take your VR experience to the next level. The only thing missing is a high-end PC so you can play the best virtual reality games. Just kidding, not really. Are there any additional accessories that you think I missed that should have been featured in this video? Please let us know in the comments below. If you found this video enjoyable or helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already so I can know to make more videos just like this. Thank you so much for exploring the wonderful world of virtual reality with me. I am Ryan and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.